Awkward Crowd and welcome to another episode of Awkward Victoria. For today's episode, of course, as you all know, I do this thing called a snack crate. And what I do is that snack crate is basically snacks that you get around the world and you get to try them and they're from different cultures and all that jazz. So yes, this is a snack crate. Now, the snack crate is a lot smaller than what it usually is. The reason why it's smaller than it usually is is because apparently when they were getting shipped the drinks, the drinks got destroyed during shipping. Don't worry, they credited me back my my money that I spent, you know, because putting a drink with the snack crate does cost a little bit more money. But I'm very sad because apparently the drink was supposed to be chocolate milk. And I really love chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is like one of my favorite beverages. So yes, I am actually very sad. The reason why I'm also sad is because the cho uh, chocolate milk would have came from Holland. And Holland actually does make some pretty good chocolate milk so yes I'm also disappointed in that but I understand you know things can't always go the way you want to and I'm not mad at them I you know accidents happen all the time and it sucks when it does uh, maybe maybe in some lifetime I could try it out maybe I'll go to Holland just to try out the chocolate milk I don't know I am that desperate though I love chocolate milk chocolate milk is fan freaking tastic with that being said of course because it's from Holland I am going to be mentioning some nice facts from Holland Dutch people are the tallest in the world more than 25% of Holland is below sea level although the national language is Dutch 86% of Dutch Dutchies speak English most of the world's bacon is from the Netherlands. Oh boy, man, I'm going to the Netherlands then. 50% of the world's beer is too. Going to Holland, guys. Just, just letting you guys know. Just going to the Netherlands and stuff. One of the most popular snacks in the Netherlands is the French fries dipped in mayonnaise. Uh, Dutch adults love to put sprinkles, the kind kids put on ice cream, on toast. We even put some in this month's snack crate. I have heard of that. I will admit, I have heard of that. Um, about the sprinkles on the toast. I thought that was interesting when I found that out. I guess you just gotta be a kid somehow. Alright, as you guys know, I do not open up the snacks until I show you guys on the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the snack and hopefully I can... Yay! Successfully unsticker it without ripping it. Looks like we got some fun snacks in here. Let's just go for the chips because the chips were right freaking there. Alright, hot, hot, he pop joppy flavor a potato chip flavored like holland's infamous uh, sauce available in most fast food restaurants invented by the woman named joppy in the early 2000s okay i have an open mind i don't mind trying this almost smelt like salt and vinegar for a second there i was about to i don't like vinegar that's actually really good if I had to guess, there's these things called honey mustard pretzels here. That's kind of what it tastes like here in America. But no, this is even better. I, I give you guys credit. This is actually really good. I wish we had these in America. There's been some snacks I really wish we had in America that I've been trying from Snack Crate. Right? I really wish some snacks were in America. Like, I just like, why aren't you in America? Why do you have to piss me off right now? Because I can't. This is the only time I'm gonna be able to eat these chips and it makes me mad because I could probably buy them online but it probably costs even more money than just the snack crate and it just, I, I'm so sad about it. There's this cigar looking thing that I'm actually interested in. A uh, cinnamon flavored candy in the shape of a stick typically sold in carnivals in the Netherlands. Okay. It's called Oosterhotsekermistok. I don't know. Okay, yeah, let me. There we go. That's the name of it. Yep. Very interesting. Looks like a freaking cigar, but I will try this because I have an open mind to everything. It straight up smells like cinnamon. Are you supposed to bite it? Oh, it's really hot. I don't like this. Ugh. It's not horrid. It's really sweet. It basically tastes like I just took the cinnamon challenge in a stick. It's good, but it's not good. It's weird. All right, off to the next one. Um, UFO Smogulgis. I don't know. There, there, there it is. 
Mm. Little biscuits topped with chocolate and candies. No Dutch childhood would be complete without them. Oh, look, they're really cute. Aw, this kind of makes me smile whenever I see it. All right. It's actually really good. Honestly, if I was a kid, we had these in America, I would eat the crap out of these. These are actually very much good. Again, I'm gonna be sad that this is the only time I get to try this. Stroop waffles? These amazing Dutch cookies consist of thin layer of caramel, like syrup, sandwiches between two waffle wa wafers. Hmm. Give me a minute. All right, sorry about that. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but whenever you hear that clicking sound, that's Battle Cat trying to get in the front door, and he knows how to up open the front door. If I don't let him in, he is just gonna keep going at it until he opens the front door, and then he lets the rest of the animals out. Shroot waffle, that's what it is. Right there, right there. All right, all right. Looks like a miniature waffle from Waffle House. These are actually pretty good. I would eat the crap out of these if we had these in America as well. It's It's got a good consistency of caramel. It's not over chewy. It's kind of like it melts in your mouth kind of caramel. And the wafers just like, it's just, I don't know, it's just perfect. Like, it's like a perfect little caramel sandwich and it's amazing. It's actually very good. I would be fat off of these if, the, if they were in America. Like they, I think this is my new sweets right now. It's just legitimately like, melts in your mouth as you're eating it. This is my new favorite. Can you send me more of these like for free of course because you know I don't want to pay for it but can you send me more of these like wow like I'm not I'm not trying to oversell it like these are this is like really amazing. I like caramel but usually caramel in America is like really kind of like over do like overdone like they either put a way too much caramel in it or something like that you guys have perfected just the right amount of caramel all right sadly this is my last snack again i would have a drink but again they told me that the drinks were damaged while in the shipment which again i understand i'm a little sad about it i'll read this the description of the drink this is going to be my last snack they're called hup hup just a Dutch sweet with a slight coffee and caramel flavor that originated in the 18th century. It smells weird. That's what it kind of looks like. Hold on, let me. There it is. There it is. See, that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's hard. It's a hard piece of candy. Oh my god. It seriously tastes like I just I'm I'm sipping on coffee. Like a caramel macchiato. Oh my gosh. Colin, you have seriously outdone yourself. Like these are fantastic. I'm not so sure about the cinnamon stick. I I am not one for that cinnamon stick. It legitimately tastes like I took a spoonful of cinnamon and just ate it and I just did the cinnamon challenge but from a sweet and it it's just I love cinnamon but I don't think that's my cup of tea the chips are amazing those wafers are even better because I like I said in America we kind of overdo the caramel a lot and it kind of disappoints me on a lot of caramel candies because of that but those caramel uh those caramel waffle things are those those are perfect don't ever change it don't ever listen to americans if they're like put more caramel in no no it's perfect the way it is it's got the right amount of caramel to it, it it's just it melts in your mouth it's really good and these you know i think holland might step step it up a notch germany is still one of my favorite ones of the snack crates but holland's kind of got holland's a little bit up there i might have to have a chart Maybe I should put like a snack crate chart right here and like have like little things that tell you which one is my favorite. You know, I should do that. I'm gonna do that because I love snack crate a lot and I think it would be awesome to show you guys what was my favorite out of all of them. So far, Germany, you have been my favorite. The chocolate was fantastic and Holland, you actually did outdo yourself on this one. Now I promise you guys, hold on one second. The, the chocolate milk we were supposed to get was called Coco Mel. A Dutch favorite for over 75 years, the creamy chocolate chocolate milk is delicious when chilled, but it's equally tasty when hot with whipped cream. I am very much sad about it. That is what it was supposed to look like. I'm very much sad about it. Nothing I can do about it. 
I wish I can get some, but oh well, you know, I would have loved to have some chocolate milk. Again, chocolate milk is like one of my favorite beverages, and next to root beer, of course, because root beer is amazing. But chocolate milk is my favorite, and it just sucks the fact that it busted during shipment, but there's nothing we can do about that. Anyways, that is actually going to be it for me for today. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, Agra Victoria, of course. And I hope you like this snack crate video. I enjoyed it again. Pauling, you did a very fantastic job. I really appreciate your snacks that, or I should say snack crate. I really appreciate the snacks that you brought over here to America for me to try from Holland. And I look forward to, of course, the next snack crate. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Awkward Victoria, and I will see you guys later. Bye.